Hey there, Coniacs. Season 2 of Only Murders in the Building has gotten up to a great start. They've given us a great mystery to solve. It's too soon to know anything for sure, and you know I love to speculate, so I've decided to give you my wildest theory for who killed Bunny. Don't forget, I'm giving away $50 in Only Murders merchandise at the end of the season. All you have to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and comment. Maybe let me know what your wildest theory of who and why someone would kill our dear Bun Bun. My craziest theory is a Lucy, of course. We've only seen frames of Lucy, that, though we will be introduced to her character in the next episode. We know she is someone who's very close to Charles a few years back. We know he loved her like a daughter, and we can assume that she loved him too. But what if Lucy hated her mother for taking her away from Charles? What if she watched his show and loved seeing him be a detective? What if she listened to the podcast and hated Bunny for trying to kick them out? Not only that, she was jealous of Mabel and saw her as a replacement daughter and killed Bunny and framed Mabel as retribution. I know what you're thinking. Dallas, Dallas, why would she even be in the building? Well, she might visit the Arconia to see Arnoff's child. We know that they're friends. That would put her in the building or at least she could have entered the building under that guise. And as I suspected from the trailer, it appears that Lucy would be the person showing our podcasters that there are hidden passageways in the building. I thought that it would make sense that a little girl would be curious and find these hidden doors in Charles' apartment and play in them during her time living with him. I also found it interesting that she was wearing a yin yang pajama pants. Now, when I was her age, yin yangs were all the rage. I'm talking the early 90s, mid 90s. I had them on shirts and necklaces and even on my pogs. But it's a little odd for me to see someone her age and this time wearing it. Maybe it's a reference to her believing in balance. You know, the good and bad and everything. And her killing Bunny is an act to keep that balance. In the frames we do see of her pulling out the knife from the block that I'm not even sure belongs to Charles. We see a knife block here that's all black. This is the one I believe I saw last season, but these again are multicolored. Maybe it's an attempt to justify her fingerprints on the knife. Now I know the killer wore gloves, but they didn't pull the knife out of nowhere. Was this knife or did this knife belong to the killer beforehand? Lucy is introduced, it seems, kicking the door to Charles' apartment. I'm guessing she's appearing, bag in hand, and kicks the door as her hands are full. Maybe she ran away from home and came to this place, a place she felt comfortable, trying to get Charles to be a father figure again. I mean, I see the bell peppers here. She's trying to make an omelet like they used to do in order to ensure that happens, taking out the person who tried to kick him out and Mabel, who she seems as her replacement, might be something a child would do. Now, I know this is a very big leap, but you got to go crazy sometimes. Please tell me what's your crazy theory. And a little bit later today, before episode four is released, expect another video where I go back over the trailers for some more hidden clues I missed the first time. I hope you enjoyed that wild theory. Thank you guys for following. My name is Dallas, and I'll catch you on the rooftop.